should be nice and active now. She be bubbly. Mm, she smell like bread like fresh and yeah. fresh. Mm, yeah. So we're gonna mix that up with our sugar, our flax, our vanilla, and our salt. Hey Joe, how are we doing over there? Are you keeping up? I don't keeping up uh, a little bit. I might have uh, mixed everything in one bowl and I've done it separately. <laughs> All right, cool. So this whisking part, it might be easy for the kids to, to do the whisking. Just keep them whisking and then you add in the ingredients. Okay. Can I eat bacon while I'm doing it or? What's that? Can I eat bacon while they're whisking or no? Yes. Do I have to stop eating the bacon. Uh. <laughs> yes, for sure. All right, great. Now, so for this next part, we're going to start adding in the flour. Okay, we should have about one and three quarter cups of flour. Oh, uh, almost, almost forgot one more ingredient, guys. We got to add the coconut oil. Okay, so we have this mixture here. We got to add the coconut oil to the mixture. Okay, you're going to pour it right in. All right, just whisk it up a little bit more. All right, and then when we use, when we start adding the flour, we like to use chopsticks, okay? The reason is it just keeps it all together. You can easily use a whisk. You can use your hands too. Um, but we like to use chopsticks because it keeps it all um, not as clumpy. It's a good binding, so it helps with the binding. All right, so we have our coconut, water, yeast, sugar, salt, and flaxseed. We're going to start adding in the flour little by little. All right, here we go. Doing it with your hands. This is the fun part. Yeah. Yay. So you just want to keep it all up. mix it, and then once you have it mostly incorporated, you're gonna add just a little bit more flour. Uh, keep in mind, everybody's flour might not be. You might not have to use all of it. Okay. When you're making, especially making breads or donuts or thinking like things like that, you're going to. Um, have a lot of inconsistencies because it, it all depends on the weather and how humid it is in the day and how, um, you know, if it's, if it's hot and steamy, you might need a little bit more water. If it's a really cold day, you might need a little less water. So it's always gonna be a little bit different, okay? In the recipe, we have one and three quarter cups of flour. Yep, it's starting to come together nicely. Just keep in mind, you might not have to use it all. Okay. Keep mixing in circular motion. And then we're looking for a really nice, sticky, tacky, not too dry, and not too wet dough. Should be coming together just nicely. When it starts to get too hard with the whisk, that means it's time to start using the hands, guys. All right, so we wanna clean off our chopsticks, get all that dough onto there. And then just take the dough in the bowl and mop it around with your hand and pick up all of those nice yummy flour bits. And you wanna think about pushing the dough in to the flour. Think about getting the dough and push it into the flour. Yeah, there you go, Joe. Use that knife, get all get it all out of the whisk, and I would start using the hand. It's time to get time to get dirty. You want to get your bowl to be all clean at the end, so you just keep going to the middle. Mm -hmm. So this is where it's, it gets nice and fun. You're going to get a little messy. It's okay, though. Yeah. Get a little flour on each other. It's all right. Just, it's all right. You know, a little flour there, a little flour here. Remember, we're not going to use all the flour, guys. You might have to. You might not to. It's all going to depend on the temperature and the humidity levels of your kitchen. Okay? Again, what we're looking for is a nice sticky yet firm dough, okay? You wanna put all your love into it. 
How you guys doing over there? What is it? Let's see. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, getting there. Yeah, so I would like to keep around a little bit more flour. More flour, okay. Yeah, little, little by little, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. See, this is oh, yeah. nice and sticky. It's a little too sticky, this dough, so we're going to keep adding a little bit more flour. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We have, I would say, a tablespoon of flour left over, guys, from what we measured out. So like I said, you're not going to use it all. You might have to, you might not. You're just looking for a nice texture, okay? But I want to try. Okay. It should be nice and smooth. It looks good. It's looking good. Press like that. Bite. Lift. It's not time Open. for bites yet. We gotta get more dads in the kitchen. <laughs> Press. <laughs> yeah. I grew up cooking with my dad. It was my most precious moments growing up, so this was exciting for me to teach today. <laughs> I'm so excited. Hey, Chef Allen, can I just say happy Father's Day to my dad, who I know is on. We miss you. Hi, Dale. Yes, happy Happy Father's Day to all the fathers. Thank you guys for all that you do. Yeah. We all need a nice uh, male figure in our lives. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> so <laughs> once you have almost all the flour in, okay, guys, it's good. Now, now we need the muscle, okay? So I'm going to take over, get in there, and we're going to really mop up the dough and get that flour all incorporated into it. Okay, this part definitely takes a little muscle. I use my fist and really knead it into it. And you want to think about punching, punching the flour through the dough and really getting it in there. Folding it on top of each other. Mm. Okay, so now, once it comes together, it should come together in a nice little shaggy ball like this. Okay, can everyone see my shaggy ball? So we're going to take the shaggy ball right on the, on the board here, or it can be on your countertop, whatever you like, and we're going to do what's called kneading, okay? And kneading is really simple. If you want to, you can break this shaggy dough into pieces, and everyone can have a little piece of dough to do together. So on your board, you're going to do the same thing you were doing in the bowl. You're going to punch it and really drive the dough into the flour, okay? And you want to think about stretching and pulling the dough, okay? You should get this nice effect, okay? And then after you have that, you're gonna roll it onto itself and do it again and keep doing that. You can do maybe, maybe three or four minutes, okay? We're looking for a nice smooth texture. You're gonna start to see the flax seeds. The flax seeds are nice in there. And remember, the flax seeds is gonna give us a nice, um, a nice flavor um, that, that's replacing that milk, burnt milk solid flavor that you would typically get in a regular donut. Give you a little bit of a nutty taste. So once you have it pretty much all kneaded, you're gonna put all the pieces of dough together so we have one big dough ball. All right, get that together. And then from there, that's pretty much it for the dough. You want, you want it to be a little smooth and a little rough on the outside, okay? It doesn't have to be perfect. Don't worry if it's not pretty like mine. Mm -hmm. One of the best things about dough and bread. Yeah, that's looking oh, great, job. <laughs> Beautiful. Nice. One of, one of the best ingredients about bread and dough and things like that is time. Time is gonna help all these things come together and meld. Okay, so now you're just gonna take that bowl, dump out any excess flour that was in there, okay? And you're gonna take your nice dough ball and put it in there. 
make it into a little heart for your dad. It can be a heart. Yay. <laughs> All right, then just cover that bowl with a paper towel. And I like to stick it in the microwave because um, it's a nice, cool place. No mm -hmm. one's going to touch it, no dr extra draft. And um, this is going to take about 45 minutes to an hour to start rising, depending on what type of yeast you got. If you had instant yeast, it might take 30 minutes to 45. If you have dry active yeast, it might take 45 to an hour, okay? You want it to about almost double in size. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put that in the microwave. And with the, with the magic of Zoom, we have another one ready to go. Look at that. <laughs> this is how it should look once it rises. It is completely doubled in size. And now, what Feels we're like gonna do. Fluffy. Like a little pillow. <laughs> so, Take notes, guys. This part is <clears throat> what you guys are gonna be doing in about 45 minutes from now, okay? So you're gonna take your flour, just a little bit of flour on your board. All right, and we're gonna take that dough, we're gonna plop it right on top. There we go. Nice. Okay, be very gentle with it, you don't wanna, um, burst it too much. You have a, a lot of nice air bubbles in there. Okay, so you're going to take a little bit more flour on top. You're going to get your rolling pins out. All right. Then we're going to start in this, put the rolling pin in the center, and we're going to gently pull back towards us. Okay. After we're done, we're going to take the dough and give it a quarter turn and repeat. So just one half, gently roll back to you, repeat. All right, and we're gonna go to, it's about a quarter of an inch thick, guys. Don't worry if it's not perfect, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna be cutting it out. And now also, if you guys don't have donut cutters, we don't have donut cutters. <laughs> you can use a couple things, okay? The lid to a mason jar works really good for the outside, or a mason jar itself, mm -hmm. or if you have little glass containers, okay, that can be a cutter, or cookie cutters. You can really use anything you want uh, to make any shapes you want, really. You can cut it with a knife and make little um, squares if you want. Hey, Sean, what's the question? Question. Can we... Can we just make donut holes, like make the yep. little balls and yeah, exactly. Yeah. So what we are also going to use, so we'll show you how to cut one out all the way. So we're going to take your donut, your rain cutter, whatever you're using, dip in a little bit of flour, put it onto your dough. You're going to push down hard and give it a twist, just like you would a cookie. Okay, and then that gives you a nice circle. And then I took a cap off of olive oil, right? And you put that right in the center. You push down hard and give it a twist. And there you go. You have donut and donut holes. You can uh, use this and make them round and do them more like little uh, munchkins. Yeah, like little munchkins. Little munchkins. And this will be fun later to do with all the toppings on top. Mm -hmm. So we're going to cut out all these donuts. <laughs> you should, this recipe should get you about six to eight donuts. Okay, after you, you cut out, oh, stupid flies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> after you cut out your donuts and you have all this excess, just put it together in your hand like this. All right, she's going to cut out those little donut holes. Just put it together in your hand. Give it a little flatten in your hands like this. You put it back on your board, you take your rolling pin, you give it a little bit more flattening and roll it in, okay? Right, and 
and then like this, you probably won't be able to make a whole donut out of this. So what we can do, we're gonna take it, we'll cut it into, let's say three strips. And then okay. we know how dads love to braid their, their daughter's hair. So we're gonna make a little braided donut. Yay. <laughs> so take your three, you're gonna squish the two, the, all three ends together. Go underneath, on top, oh wait, there it is, underneath, over. Like a French braid. Just like a French braid, exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, and then pinch that all together there. And now we have a braided donut. All right, now you're gonna to wanna to put those on a nice wire rack. Okay, you don't need to grease or flour this at all. Mm -hmm. We got some donuts ready to be baked in a couple minutes. We made these earlier. We've been baking donuts since eight o'clock this morning. <laughs> Well, there's no egg in it. So. Hey, is it uh, is it bad if you eat raw dough? Because I think <laughs> it's, um, it's not gonna kill you. There's no eggs or anything in it, so you're totally fine. <laughs> well, she got it good. She likes it. All right, so you can just take your paper towel and just lay that over top of the donuts while they're resting, and then that's gonna take like another 30 minutes to rise. Okay, while we wait for those, we're gonna talk about the toppings. Okay, so we got some nice bacon chopped up. We got, and I took, so when I cooked the bacon today, I just put some maple syrup on it and then cooked it in the oven at 350 takes out degrees. All the grease from mm. it, so it's not as sweet. And then you get this nice mapley bacon flavor. Oh, it's so yummy. Mm. Um, perfect addition to top these donuts. We also have some fresh strawberries. So we could do a berries and cream topping. Mm. And then we have some Oreo cookies. And we're also gonna top the Oreo cookie donut with this beautiful cookie butter, guys. If you don't know what this is, <laughs> go get it now. That's all I'm saying. It's at Whole Foods and it will literally change your entire life. Like, it's if you really haven't good. had this, you're missing out. It, I've waited 30 years to have this. <laughs> and I'm so thankful I waited. We also have the icing. Yep, so let's make the icing next, guys. So we should have some powdered sugar and a little bit of water. Just gonna grab a little bit of cold water, guys, and your powdered sugar. Okay, you take a bowl, pour your powdered sugar in there. You know, this part, I never really weigh it out, okay? You can, you, you can use the recipe that I put on there, a quarter cup of water and a half, one and a half cup of powdered sugar. But I just put some powdered sugar in a bowl and then I start drizzling in just a little bit of water at a time, a little bit, a couple drops, all right? And that's usually more than you need. Alan, right? we, have a, we have a question. They wanna know, what if you do not have an oven safe wire rack? What if you do, uh, you're gonna use parchment paper. Use, some, uh, use a good parchment paper on a baking sheet and it can go right on there. You don't need to put any grease or any butter or anything. You, all, you already have coconut oil inside of the donuts. So that's gonna be um, all that you need to keep it from sticking. So here we go. We have the powdered sugar icing. So it's just powdered sugar and a little bit of water. And we, <clears throat> we love to cook with essential oils. Okay, so we are actually gonna flavor this icing yes. with a um, uh, doTERRA level, right? Yes, we use doTERRA, which are, uh, their, doTERRA stands for gifts from the earth. So this is the purest essential oil that you can use. It's very potent, so all you have to do is use one little drop. Mm -hmm. And it'll flavor the oh, whole wow. icing. It'll Immediately, smells lemon, like lemon. Yumminess. I, I smell like I'm literally have my head in a lemon tree. Oh man, it smells great. 
you can actually, at home, if you don't have uh, lemon essential oil, you can use pure lemon and just zest it and put lemon zest on top or orange zest or any type of uh, zest you like to add mm -hmm. as a test. They keep it nice and fresh um, while keeping, while still getting your nice sweet tooth on. Mm -hmm. So, and then you want this glaze uh, to be a little bit thinner than you think because it's going to harden as it sits. Um, it's going to be a lot easier to spread onto the donuts. Make some yummy glazed donuts. 12 Love Glazed Donuts. What are your favorite donuts? Tell us what are your favorite donuts. Yeah, what are some toppings that you guys enjoy? What do you like, Joe? My favorite donut overall. Mommy. This is going to be interesting. I would probably go just a typical glaze, old fashioned glaze. You like old fashioned? Old fashioned glaze. Yeah, there you go. My, my favorite is a cake donut. Because I can eat a bunch of them. It's the best. I love it. So, after about 45 minutes, your donuts, sorry, guys, your donuts should be ready for baking or frying. So, you can do one of two things. If you if you really feel like keeping it healthy all the way, um, you can just bake them, okay, on a parchment paper, 375 degrees for about 20 minutes, okay? Now, if you can't wait like us, you're gonna fry them, okay? Honestly, they just taste better. Every, everything is fried is better. Um, but you can do it however you like. They're both gonna be equally good. Um, this is just a lot quicker, and we're gonna get it done faster. So. We're gonna start frying some donuts. I have some vegetable oil heating up, okay? Uh, it is pretty, um, pretty important to kinda of at least test your oil. Um, you want it to be 375 degrees, same temperature as the oven. Okay? And if you have an air fryer at home, I'm sure it would work just as well, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and temp my oil and we'll start frying these babies up. Have one of these. Take this out. This will help with the oil once you're putting it in and trying to take it out. It's more like a little. It's called a spider. Spider. <laughs> hey, Chef, can you, um, when you get a minute, just go over the ingredients for the dough again? Just like for, for anyone who missed the beginning. Of course. So when we started off, we have um, a teaspoon of active dry yeast, and a uh, half a cup of warm water. This is 110 degrees. Okay, we just use your, your tap, let it get as hot as you can. Okay, so you got 110 degree water and your yeast. You're gonna pour that together, mix it up, and let it sit. We're gonna let that activate for a couple minutes, get nice and bubbly. Then, while we're letting that get together, we're gonna get our golden flax seed meal. Get that uh, into a bowl with a little bit of sugar, some uh, coconut oil, the uh, vanilla, and then the yeast mixture. Mix that up with a whisk to dissolve all those sugars. And then we're gonna start adding in the flour that we pre-measured out, one and three quarter cups. Okay, just slowly start adding that in with a whisk, or you can use chopsticks, or you can use your hands, until you have almost all of the flour incorporated. Then once you have all the flour incorporated into the dough, you want to Start kneading the dough on your board, okay, for about three or four minutes. Once you've kneaded it for a little bit, you're going to let it rest in your bowl for about an hour <clears throat> with um, either paper towel or you can put plastic on top, whatever you prefer. And I just put that in the microwave to hang out. Then we rolled out our dough after about an hour on a lightly floured surface, rolled it out to about a quarter inch thick, and then we cut them with little uh, circle cutters. We made donut holes. And now, after about 30, 45 minutes of them rising, we are going to start frying them, all right? We got our oil all hot, 375 degrees. Okay, you're gonna put your donut right onto your spider like this, and then it's gonna go right into the hot oil. All right now, you want to make sure your oil is hot. Okay? If it's too cold, your dough, your donuts are going to absorb the grease instead of cooking it, and it's going to be really 
uh, a not so satisfying experience. So definitely make sure your, your, your oil is nice and hot, 375 degrees. The best oil to cook the donuts. I, I recommend using a vegetable oil or a grapeseed oil or a sunflower oil, uh, canola. I even. like sunflower oil. <clears throat> it's delicious. Mm. It's a healthier option. So depending on your taste, you can choose which oil works better for you or which one you like or taste better. Mm -hmm. So the donuts take about a minute and a half on each side in the fryer. And then in the oven, they're going to take about 20 minutes total. Okay. So we got the first ones pretty much done here. Oh man. Ooh. Look at that guys. Mm. Yeah. Oh, smells so good. So that you want to be a little, you want to be a little careful. Okay. They are hot. Okay, but you with let them sit for a moment. just a second, let them sit, and then I like to grab some forks, okay, and then it's gonna go right into the glaze when it's hot, okay? Go right into the glaze, go all over it, mm. and then that is how you make a real glazed donut, guys. That looks so good, Chef. Mm. Is it weird that that puts me in a good mood? Mm. So then we can top them however we like. Ashley's going to take care of topping these while I fry them up, okay? I like Joe's comment. He said, is it weird that this makes me happy? And absolutely not. <laughs> that is amazing. They look wonderful. All right, so let's make one with strawberries and cream. Yeah, we're going to start with strawberries. You take all your strawberries, you're going to cut them in smaller pieces so that you can spread them all around. So you want to cut them in those bite-sized pieces. You want to slice them. You're going to bring the knife down and you slice. I'm going to add a little bit of the glaze. Glaze, yeah. More, a little more glaze on top. The strawberries. The strawberries and cream. You can put as much strawberries or as much cream as you want, and also maybe a little powdered sugar on top. You want to put maybe just a little powdered sugar on. Mm. I'm going to take a little bite just to try. Mmm, yum. It's so soft. You see the middle? Nice and soft. You can see. Yum. All right, so mm -hmm. here's actual donut, guys. Mm -hmm. That's what the donuts look like just out of the oven. Ooh, it is hot. It's going to go that right so into good. the glaze. That is good. Right into that glaze. Mm, that's so good. Mm. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. So now I say we make a bacon one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to just put some nice toppings of bacon over here. I'm going to do like chunks. Oh, that's so, good. so Alan, Joe has his own candy bacon recipe. He just does the brown sugar instead of the maple syrup. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Brown, brown sugar, sugar on it with so some, some pepper. Yeah. Oh yeah. So that, that guys. That yeah. Is, 
That's a work of art right there. It is hot. Look at these. Two, look at these two beauties. Don't eat bacon. We have different options. You can keep. No, so you can make it healthy if you want. You can make it not healthy, but you have you kind of have options here, guys. So let's uh, let's cut one of these bad boys open. See how it tastes. How it looks. Oh yeah. Mm. No. Oh, is it? It looks really like hot. it's worth burning your mouth. It looks like it's, it's worth it. It's gonna be worth it. It's okay. Yeah. Mm. Oh man. Yum. Yeah. You want to try one? Can't wait to bake them. Oh my gosh, <laughs> guys, these donuts are so good. In like ten more minutes, you guys should be ready to start rolling out your dough, <clears throat> and then just let them sit for a couple more minutes, let them rise, and then fry them up. Or if you want to bake them, no problem. Just take a little bit more longer. You do a little, um, do one of the round ones with the Oreos. So we'll make an Oreo munchkin. Oreo munchkin. Yes, yeah, so we take those little munchkins and we'll toss them in there. In that glaze. Take your Oreo and then just put it in, mix it around, right on top. And stay. Got cute little mini Oreo. Munchkins for your little munchkins. Yay. <laughs> and I love the way you were feeding each other the donuts. So send us pictures of your kids feeding dads their donuts too. Yay. Yes. Sharing is caring. So make sure you share with other fathers, other neighbors. This is a time where we need kindness, so if we can all just share a little kindness during this time to each other. Hey guys, if you make too many donuts, I'm sure your neighbors will be happy enough to help you finish them. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wherever you go today, share your donut. We're, we have an open house after this, so we're going to go share them with the open house. All the guests that come. Uh, That's good. Uh, well, we're going to take pictures of our finished product when we are finished with them, and we are going to post them on social media. We'll definitely tag Elevated Noms. Thank you guys so much for showing us how to do this today. And of course, tag March of Dimes Florida and hashtag MOD Donuts with Dad. We had such a great time, Chef Alan. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course, guys. Thank, thank you. you, guys. My pleasure. We really enjoyed it. Uh, thank you to all the dads out there. Thank you. Awesome. Of course, thank you. Awesome. Yeah. I hope you guys have fun eating the donuts. <laughs> we, will. Uh, we will. We will. Good seeing you. Thank you. And I hey, guys, if you, if, you. You, if you want them to be a little quicker, make little munchkins. They'll take 10 minutes to rise, and then you can fry them up right after that. Oh, good. The smaller, the quicker. <laughs> All right, guys, if anybody has any questions, please just reach out to the March of Dimes or you can shoot us an email. Visit our website at elevatednoms.com um, and you can get in contact with us there or social media, of course, Elevated Noms anywhere. Nom, nom, nom. We'll see you guys soon. Thank you.